Under a minute to go in this first quarter. Jokic on the bench as Campazzo unloads one from deep. An offense that's gone very quiet. Pokshevsky's pass way too high. Here is Campazzo as he sprints down the floor. No, but a foul. And you just wonder where, where the Nuggets get offense. And you can see it without Jokic on the floor. It's Trey Mann well extended behind the three-point line. Kenrich Williams tried to back tap instead. Jokic on the floor. It's Trey Mann well extended behind the three-point line. Kenrich Williams tried to back tap instead. It's right there to Campazzo. Oh, he put a little move on. It opens up the lane and leans into Jerome for the finish. At the end of the game against the Grizzlies when they came out of the timeout, he cut a, a hard cut by Shea, and Giddy found him. As Jamichael Green from the outside. Najee hasn't been looking for a shot since he missed that three. So Campazzo from the outside. By Arker, no. Three white jerseys there, and Kenrich is going to get credit for the rebound. Has proven that he can come in and be ready and contribute. That pass through the hands, and it results in a Denver turnover. As Trey Mann got the release, flies his way up to the rim. Bones Highland now missing two consecutive shots. And we're going to get a foul on the pass up the floor. Compazzo, you know he's going to try to break you down with the dribble and then find an open man. In that case, it was Austin Rivers off the deck wiggling his way up to the rim. But physical presence, Michael, a lot, particularly on the offensive end. That's going to miss wide right. Just stuck with the plane. This is what we did in the first half, and this is what we're doing so far here in the second half. As the intentional foul by Baisley, making the Nuggets work and work through the shot clock. Dominated Denver on the glass as well. 21 9. Giddy saved it from going out of bounds. Because that could easily turn into two points for the Nuggets and possibly get their offense started. Oh, Baisley. Had the size advantage, but it was punched out of his hands by Campazzo. We're still looking at that replay on the offensive foul. Yeah, yeah. Chanchar's come in here in the early minutes of the fourth quarter, and he's provided Denver with a little offense. And the Thunder next week will go right back out to the West Coast. As Campazzo, a rare shot for him. He's got his first three. three. Got it down to 15. Thunder led by as many as 23 points in this game, but Denver has picked up its offense thanks to an 8-0 run. Pokashevsky elbow jumper quickly in the possession, no good. Rivers, and he's got another three, and so it's an 11-0 run for Denver. Good coach for the Nuggets, Michael Malone, is elected to go with this bench here in this fourth quarter, and they're delivering. Looks like that ball got ripped away by Giddy. Shea is fouled by Campazzo, and these fouls are now critical by Denver because, but one that he will take, and one that Denver will take. There's the Argentinian back to the free throw line. Denver has been such a difficult matchup over the years. Denver can't stop play here. The Thunder, five on four. This will be a foul on Rivers with an 11-point lead. Offense has dried up a little bit. Denver continues to hoist from three-point land. Reed seems to be okay because he remains in the game. Ash, you got 58 points in the paint. This is a terrific stack line for you as Rivers hits the floater. Rivers is the second leading scorer for the Nuggets off the bench. 12 points. Denver continuing to apply a lot of pressure, forcing that turnover. He's got 27 points, 11 assists, and that last rebound gave him 10. Well, very telling in the kind of game that he's had.